How's it going everybody? Sean Allen here. Welcome to another Universal City Walk update. That's right, I'm back at Universal City Walk. There's the front entrance to Universal Studios Hollywood right there. Once again, I'm about to do another update for you guys from right here at Universal City Walk. But you know what? This mask, like the last time, was causing me a lot of issues because I could barely talk in this. So, give me one second. There we go. Check it out. Got me a Gryffindor mask. Where can you get this one exactly? Well, I'll show you that in just a moment. Very quickly though, I want to share with you guys something, a little story. So, guess what? A week ago, I posted a very cool photo of these paper model trams. There's three different trams that you can make from the Facebook and the Twitter pages of Universal Studios Hollywood. One is the Glamour Tram, the second being the Super Tram, and the third one being the normal Universal Studios Hollywood Tram. I took a picture of them right over here at the very front of the gate. It got so many likes on Instagram that in fact, Universal Studios Hollywood and even our Team Member Central Instagram pages actually retweeted and shared the picture. Pretty freaking cool, lots of likes. If you haven't seen the original photo, go and check out my own Instagram page at Sean Allen Films. And very quickly I decided to have a little photo shoot here with my Marvel characters because as some of you are aware, Universal Studios Hollywood used to have Marvel characters here as meet and greets. Something they've also added recently, they've closed off that section over there where the restrooms are because the restrooms are not accessible over there. Well, it looks like they have closed down Billabong. It was open for a few weeks, but it's closed once again. I'm going to stop in at the Universal Studios store because this is where I got my Gryffindor mask. So here are the masks right here. We have this rainbow one, Universal Studios Hollywood logo, Hello Kitty. Then we have, oh, this is the fluffy unicorn from Despicable Me. One of the official Universal Studios Hollywood logo masks. And up here is where they have the Gryffindor masks. Now, when I got in here originally, which was like maybe 30 minutes ago, they actually had three of these racks up here. But now there's only one. <laughs> These are going fast, people, and yes, there's only one size that's medium. So if you're wondering if they have any of the masks over here for like the other houses, the answer is no, because it isn't a, really an official product from Universal Studios Hollywood and Harry Potter. It's just a mask you can get. Plus, it doesn't have the logo tags on the mask bag as well. So the only one they have currently is just Gryffindor. Hopefully, they'll have the other ones like Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and Ravenclaw. Oh, check it out. They got the new 2020 limited edition wand. That's a nice one. Nice black one. I have the one from last year where we did it for Dark Arts at Hogwarts Castle. This is the 2020 edition. And it is interactive. Look at that. It is an interactive wand. You can use that in Hogsmeade. Basically, you can get it right now and bring it back when the park reopens. Oh, it's magic. Look, it's floating in the box. Ooh. <laughs> magic. We also have the different houses and Hogwarts Castle Crest. Got Gryffindor and Slytherin up there. There's Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff. And that one, of course, I, like I mentioned, is the Hogwarts Crest. Now, you may notice that these look like metal, but it's actually plastic. So again, the question is, will they have the other houses of Hogwarts? It's a huge question mark because this is the only one they've got right now, and that's Gryffindor, and that's my house. <laughs> But hopefully they will because obviously you've also got the Ravenclaws, the Hufflepuffs, and the, <clears throat> the Slytherins. I guess they're just beta testing these and seeing if they are successful in, in selling these. And I think they are. Obviously, two of those racks were already gone. So, <laughs> testing by Vivo Italian Kitchen. Now, honestly, I don't remember these being up here. These little banners. If they were, I guess I wasn't very observant. But these are cool. You got your herbs right in here. Nice looking herbs. Ooh, look at the flowers on those. Those are nice. Okay, in one of my previous videos, I thought this was either basil or spearmint, some type of mint. I'm gonna smell it once again. It smells like basil, but the thing is that it doesn't look like basil, like, I think it is basil because it's very strong. There's some mints that have a little not so strong smell, but this is very strong. It smells like basil. There's like different types of basil too, so but it's very, very strong. Whew. So this was the former home, or should I say temporary home, for its sugar. And as you can see, they've already taken off all of the signs on here saying this was where it was located. Sorry we missed you. So the question is, what's gonna be going in here? Well, obviously, it's gonna be a while before we find out what's gonna go in this place because of what's going on in the world. So we shall see, we shall see, but 
hopefully it'll be something nice. And Nectar Batteries is still not open, so hopefully that'll be opening soon. They're showing clips from the 2016 Olympics up there. This is the, the NBC Sports Grill and Brew opening very soon. That's awesome. They took down the walls recently. I don't know if this was down when I came here last time or not, but anyways, got this nice little front area here. In fact, I wanted to show you guys something on the other side, but you got also the grill, brew. Looks really, really cool. Looks really nice on the inside. Got a television right here. It's probably gonna have a digital menu on here. Got a little outdoor area as well. We can sit outside and eat. Got these different pictures right here of NBC. Looks like different logos from NBC. There's the old Peacock logo right there on the wall. That's actually kind of cool where they have all the different logos on there. So on the back side here of the NBC Grill and Brew, you've also got this section here. Has the logo of the restaurant right there. I saw that coming in to get into the parking structure. And legit, this is like right next door to the Jurassic parking structure right there. So like once you enter into City Walk, you just take a sharp left and you're like right there. You also have this right here, which is the NBC Grill Brew. That's the hashtag right there. It says champions. Water fountain once again. It is still closed off, obviously. But it's still cool to check out when you come here to City Walk. Once again, we got the Bubblegum Shrimp Company. That is open. Johnny Rockets, really crowded right now. Antihitos is also open. All three of the restaurants, by the way, they are serving lunch and dinner right now while City Walk is open from 12 to 8 p.m. And they are packed right now, let me just say. So it looks like across from where Bubba Gum Shrimp is, they also have extra seating right over here for their restaurant. That's a clever idea. Yeah, so even it says Bubba Gum Shrimp right there. So as of right now, Wasabi as well as Dongpo are still closed and I don't think I've covered this recently but the last couple of weeks I've been here the Starbucks as well as Blaze Pizza have been closed off it was open for like a week and then they closed down again so I hope everything's okay but obviously right here they got it all blocked off they have removed the walls where the Hard Rock Cafe used to be and in the place of the original guitar is now a palm tree actually several palm trees looks like three of them but right about in this section here is where that guitar used to be located it's interesting how they just completely walled it off right there that was part of the entrance to hard rock cafe oh they planted some nice hibiscus plants right here that is really nice my folks love hibiscus plants these are nice we also have some of these on the back as well but yeah, these are blooming. These are really nice to have in the summertime. And if you have tortoises, they love these things. It's like candy to them, literally. There's Batman, what's up? And also, Harley Quinn, what's up, Puddin? Iron Man in the back there, what's up, Iron Man? And over here, we've got the R2, D2, and Django Fett. Coming around to Wetzel's Pretzels, as well as iFly. They're still closed, as well as Margaritaville. The Raider image is actually open for business. And there's always been this like story that this is the Hulk from the cinema over by Things in the World, but I don't, I don't think so because the Hulk was a little bit bigger. Plus the statue didn't look like it had a shirt on, but some people are saying that's what it's from. The Hulk movie that I was referring to is the Ang Lee movie. Not the one in the cinematic universe, but the one before that. But uh, I'm gonna take a quick picture of this guy, kind of get him into a different pose so that way it kind of looks like that maybe next time i'll bring my ang lee version of the hulk and then take a photo of that just to kind of have it on record you know the one thing i love about the park and also city walk is the flowers look at that got a bee right there taking a little drink he's like hey where's my contract <laughs> the hat shop here in city walk has a lot of sports related hats. Now you're probably wondering, well, what about the sandal shop here? Why isn't that open? Well, as I stated previously in my last update, unfortunately, they are closed. They have closed down this location. And it looks like they even had a Harry Potter sandal right there. Right there, the red one. It looks like it might be Gryffindor too. Oh man, that would have been cool. We got Minchies as well as Voodoo Donuts. They are open for business. Skechers is also open for business as well. 
And I've basically gone all the way around Universal City Walk. Pretty much a lot of the shops that were open last week are open as well. Well guys, I am back home. I'm going to be editing the video now, so... Whew, it was kind of a nice day today, and it was really, really chill out there, to be honest with you, in terms of weather. But I will say that since Universal City Walk reopened, it's gotten busier. In fact, today is probably the busiest I've seen in the last few weeks. And yeah, even though it was a Thursday, I still think it was really busy. A lot of their outdoor seating areas for the restaurants were pretty packed. A lot more packed than normal. So... That means that business is starting to kick up there at Universal City Walk, which is a good thing. And I'm really happy to see that. I'm glad people are having a good time. I saw a lot of kids out there. Even though the Universal Studios Hall was not open yet, it was still nice to see everybody out there having a good time, making some purchases there. Also, I wanted to bring up this little item because I feel like it's necessary. Plus, it might be a little bit of a downer for some of you, but I know that previously when I first started doing these updates that I wanted to do this every two weeks. Well... I'm thinking of holding off now, like this might be the last one for a while in terms of updates from City Walk because a lot of the shops that I'm seeing right now are the same ones I'm seeing open every time I go there. Yes, Billabong was closed today. I think, it, no, it wasn't closed the last time I was there because they just said that we'll be back at another time. But Billabong unfortunately closed down. I've noticed that the Starbucks and the Blaze Pizza have been closed now for the last couple of weeks, so that's kind of a drag. As of right now, it looks like a lot of the shops I'm seeing currently open are the ones I've seen open every other time I've been there. So I think until somebody says something new, I will just hold off on updates for now because it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me to just keep continuing going over there if all the same shops are open all the time. So it looks like... Some of the other shops are not open, are not really ready to open up just yet, or maybe they may have closed those locations for whatever reason. So this will be the last update for a while, maybe. I do actually have one other video that I'm working on. It's kind of like a little promotional video for Universal City Walk. It's like a, kind of like my little safety and directional video about City Walk. Like you'll see a bunch of these signs and everything, like the different protocols that you'll see for Universal City Walk. I'm actually gonna be doing a little bit of voiceover acting. I'll be using the good old microphone over here and it'll sound really professional and all. So I'm really looking forward to that. That might be the last City Walk video for a while. That might be released next week at some point. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here. So thank you so much for watching this update. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Be sure to check out my other vlogs here on YouTube as well as my other channels, the Educational Series, the Disneyland Video Series, and the Travel Town Series. You can find me on Instagram. The link is down below in the description of this video as well as my PO Box address. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And seeing as they say in Hollywood, I was in Hollywood earlier. Now I'm back at home. That, my friends, is a wrap. See you next time.